Welcome to the AACS Daily News for Thursday, April 16, 2015. The Massachusetts Commission on the Status of Women held a public hearing at the Attleboro Library yesterday evening. The government-appointed commission works with women and policymakers to raise awareness about the obstacles women face and to promote legislation to address those issues. The Attleboro hearing was one of many meetings held throughout the state where women had the opportunity to share their testimony. Victoria Budson chairs the commission and she offered some insight into the event. Tonight we heard about the needs of transportation, about education, about ending the scourge of domestic violence, about making sure there's transitional assistance and housing for homeless families, about making sure that women who are working full-time supporting their families are not living below the poverty line. All of the testimony which is presented here and in the other hearings we've done across the state will be combined into a report that is shared with the legislature. We work on innovative solutions on closing gaps. And each time that a woman gives testimony or an advocate shares one of the issues, we then work on a legislative agenda. And there are many different bills which have been passed in the last cycle, for example, on domestic violence. We've also had bills passed having to do with housing to really ensure that change is being made. And instead of making change based on what one imagines the problems to be, we do it in a data-driven approach so we understand the numbers and we understand the solutions. And there are people all across the Commonwealth who are deeply invested in this. And what we really believe is it's not that people don't want to close the gaps, it's that they don't know how. And what we focus on is giving people the tools and strategies to close the gaps, not just to help women, but to help their families, to help their communities, and to help the entire Commonwealth. And it's not just about rights, it's really also about the economic security, not just of these women and their families, but these communities. It's really phenomenal that we have such investment. All of the 19 commissioners are volunteers, and people spend their time to come out and really share this, not just to help themselves, but to make sure that another woman or girl will not experience the same difficulties that they have. On April 7th, the Attleboro City Council heard a proposal for a plan to reduce the cost of electricity for residents. The plan is coordinated by the Southeastern Regional Planning and Economic Development District and the electric supply company Good Energy. Representatives from the organization came to the Attleboro City Council again on April 14th to address additional concerns and answer any questions. Ross Perry from SERP had spoke with us about the plan. I'm Ross Perry. I'm with Southeast Regional Planning. And my role within Southeast Regional Planning is to find ways for communities to work together to save money. Some of those examples are group purchases. We've done group purchases for office supplies. We're now going a step further and doing a group purchase for electricity. The plan is to aggregate the residents within Attleboro for a single large purchasing group and actually to expand that by combining Attleboro with 14 other cities and towns in, in southeast of Massachusetts and going to bid for a block of maybe 150,000 households and to obtain the, the highest amount of purchasing power in that process. My name is Stefano Loretto with Good Energy. I'm Director of Business Development and we are a company that specializes in municipal aggregations, helping communities save their residents money by creating purchasing groups, buying groups for the uh, residential and small business uh, electricity. The program will be any, any customer that's currently on the basic service with National Grid in the city of Attleboro will be eligible for the program. If somebody has made an election to participate with a different supplier, uh, they will not be eligible, but upon they will then be able to opt into the program when they live through the terms of their current agreement with that supplier. Um, anybody that is with the basic service with National Grid and wants to participate in the program doesn't have to do anything. They will be automatically enrolled. I encourage everybody to go to the SERPED website because it's important right now to understand that your rates are dropping. Uh, you don't need to feel pressured to go out and sign a, any type of a, a third party contract at this time. This program will take effect in November. But really, there's a lot of information out there and there's a lot of misinformation out there. So please go to that website and, and you can really educate yourself. That concludes today's edition of the AACS Daily News. From everyone here at AACS, thank you for watching.